Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of this Valencia Career Mode. Now today, if you didn't join us for the last episode, I said there was going to be one final episode to the series. So there was the last episode was the se was the season finale for episode for season two, and today we're going to round off the whole series. We're doing one more season, but before you're wondering. How can you do one series or one season and one episode? I'll show you how now. So well, uh, because today we're going to do something a wee bit different. I've seen other YouTubers do it uh, before, and that is seven right through the full season to see how their squad will do without playing a single match. Now that's a wee bit of cheating, so it is now. Like, but uh, I just wanted to see how this team would do compared to we played two seasons already. We finished, I think, fourth in the first season in the league, and we finished second in the second. And uh, we won, uh, what was it, a couple of trophies in the way as well. So we have in regards uh, to the Spanish Cup and that. So we have, so we'll see how this team will do. Uh, we'll do it for one season, just for us, just for this one episode, and we'll see how this goes. And I will uh, skip. Skip the parts for the transfers all uh, to make this a wee bit quicker anyway. So well, I'll come back after the first transfer window. I'll come back after the second transfer window to the start of February, and then I'll round off the season uh, at the 29th and 30th of June. So well, just to give a recap of the full season, how the squad done with the new signings, and uh, hopefully we will do well. Hopefully the club, even though we're even though I'm not playing, uh, hopefully they will do well. And you never know, they possibly might outshine my own performances now, but you never know. So we'll move on uh, to see what the transfers are and what the standings are at the start of September. So we'll skip on to that now. So now we're at the 1st of September, the transfer offers have been made. And now we're going to check the calendar we managed so we are. Because we have already been through a tournament, so we have some both these matches. Uh, Barcelona, we drew one each uh, against Barcelona at their home ground. And then at our home ground, uh, we drew again two each. But unfortunately, due to the away goals, we have lost the Supercopa. So we have, so that's practically the Community Shield. Uh, of uh, of the Spanish league anyway, so it is now like so. Unfortunately, we've been knocked out in that, and then we won two one against Espanyol. So at least we got one win on the board for the league to start off the season, and our next match is against Getafe. Now, so the signings, the signings we have made, uh, two two major signings, and I think three. Uh, players that have went out. So we have made, if we move across, Cesc Fabregas has come in for £50.5 million from Chelsea. So he has, then we sold Madran for 32 Then we sold Musa as well for 30 Because our other signing, uh, we can let go of a striker because we actually sold, uh, because we actually bought Aguero for £58 million plus Negr er, we bought we bought Aguero for fifty eight million pounds plus Negretto. So we let go of two strikers and then we sold you all as well for one point eight to bolster up our transfer budget. So the team uh, looks like currently at the minute. We got Ryan and Gold Guy at left back, Mustafi and Abdenar, centre backs Cancelo at right back. Then we got Nani, Chan, Fabregas uh, as our centre mids and Carabaya as well on our midfield with Baca and Aguero up top. So it'll be very interesting to see how this team will do because we got the playmakers, uh, the playmaker Fabregas and the goals and the top goal scorer of Aguero. So we do to help Baca as well. So now we're going to move on to uh, the second stage uh, because we're going to sim on to the first of February. Um, we'll see how the team does at the start, uh, at the first half of the season, 
and if we can make a couple of transfers before then. Uh, so off we go to the 1st of February. So now we're in the 1st of February, halfway through the season. And the second transfer window we decided not to uh, not to make any transfers because the transfer budget was that low. So it was compared because we bought Fabregas and Aguero. And now we're going to see uh, how our squad will do. So it is because currently we're set in 5th at the minute. 36 points uh, got in the first uh, 19 games uh, with 26 goals scored, 16 goals conceded and we are only one point behind Real Madrid and Barcelona or we're one point behind Real Madrid and Barcelona and then we're tied with Sevilla so we are so we're doing very well to battle against the top four as well and hopefully we can maybe knock into that now in the next number of matches now and Atletico Madrid talking about a turnaround of form because they're actually beating every single team in the league so they are to, to finish top at the minute and they're having such a season 34 goals uh, 34 goals scored with 14 conceded with a goal difference of plus 20 and points with 41 points so uh, they got a game in hand pretty much so they do they got a game in hand and the draw in hand as well if you can include that and that means the pretty much the pretty much we're doing very well at the minute so we are uh, in the league and Supercopa as I said uh, three each so as we're in the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey against Real Madrid as well so we are so we're doing very well there against Real Betis we beat them three goals to one and Real Sociedad uh, we beat them two goals to one and the other side is Athletic Bilbao is drawn up against Atletico Madrid. So there we go, that's the standings at the minute in regards to that. The Copa Europe, or the Super, the UEFA Super Cup as well, three goals to two in Real Madrid's favour. So it is, and let's see, the other, the Champions Cup, uh, it seems we didn't manage. No, we didn't manage to get through to the round of 16 anyway, so we haven't. And I think we'll move on to the jump or the Europe Europe Cup. It's rather slow at the minute. There's no there's no fixtures decided there. So that is the round off for the halfway stage anyway, and we'll move on to the end of the season, and we'll see how this goes and how the end of the season goes and see if we can uh, move on and potentially win the league as we are knocked out in this <laughs> and the Copa del Rey as well seems to be our favourite tournament so it does for the in Spain so we'll see how that goes now so now we are at the 28th of June the season is finished and as you can see in the bottom right Real Madrid La Liga champions so they are 82 points, they have uh, 82 points they racked up. So they have Barcelona, I must have went down to a final day showdown because they're 80 point, they've are got 80 points. And Valencia ourselves, rather uh, sitting pretty in third place. So we managed to be fourth in the first season. We managed to be second in the second season while playing and then third in the third season so three different positions in the league and um, we managed to beat Atletico Madrid who got 72 points so they have and um, they finished fourth with Sevilla right behind them or just behind them even so they have I think just because Atletico Madrid conceded less goals then they took the position so they were tied on 72 points and unfortunately for Sevilla they've been Deducted that or they've been relegated down to the Euro to the UEFA Cup or the UEFA Cup Europa League even. Uh, so they have. And Athletic Bal or Athletic Balbao have got sixty two points, so that's another place for them in Europe. So very well played for them. 
the other league, Supercopa, we mentioned that. So they have, and Real Madrid actually went on uh, to beat us. So that, if you remember, they got into the semi-finals. So they beat us two goals to one, and then went on to beat Athletic Bilbao, who beat Athletic Real Madrid in their semi-final as well. So fair play to them. And they lost, and Real Madrid won three goals to one. So we can make three seasons in a row to win the Copa del Rey, which is unfortunate, but it just shows how the competition of the class of Spain, uh, you never know, just because you won it last season doesn't guarantee success this season as well. So we move on, the Super Cup, as we mentioned already, Real Madrid won another tournament as well, as well as the league, so they did, and then Bayern Munich actually won the Champions Cup. So they did, they beat PSG two goals to one, which is very controversial as PSG uh, with their new sign in real life, uh, Neymar. So it's, so hopefully he can uh, produce the form that PS, or help PSG actually win the Champions Cup as he didn't, didn't manage to win it this season in the game as well. So they had rather difficult opponents, 6-2 against United, and then 5-2 against Liverpool. And then 2-1 uh, against Inter Milan, and unfortunately they couldn't make it. But they make it against Bayern Munich. Well, Bayern Munich actually knocked out Real Madrid five goals to one. Then they beat Juventus five goals to two. Then they beat Leon four goals to one, and eventually beating PSG two goals to one as well. So fair play to them. So it's their Champions League winners. So they are Champions Cup winners as FIFA puts it. And there we go, Val Valencia. We actually got knocked down to the Euro the, to the Europa League, so we did. Uh, we actually beat uh, Atletico Madrid four goals to two. So we did. A, I, I was actually surprised that they were still in it. So they were, but I realised that the top seven or fifth, sixth, and seventh actually get Europa League status. So they do. So that's how Atletico Madrid got into that. So we beat them four goals to two, and then managed to lose uh, against Arsenal three goals to one, and then Arsenal went on to beat Sevilla three goals to one. So two Spanish clubs in a row, and they managed to defeat them, and then managed managed to lose one goal to nil against Chelsea. So that who played Fiorentina five goals and beat them five goals to four, and or they played uh, again even and won 5 goals to 1. They beat Fiorentina in the next leg and won 3 goals to 1. They beat, La uh, they beat Lazio 5 goals to 1 in the semi-finals and then beat Arsenal 1 goal to one goal to nil in the final. So fair play to them. So it's, and I think that's it. So as we're back to the league again where we finished third. So well played to the team. So it is, uh, they done very well. So they did. And I think we'll round off uh, with the stats so well for this season. So we'll go down. Fortunately, Valencia is at the very bottom, so they are. So we'll go uh, appearances. Chan Chan played pretty much the whole season in the league, so he did, and he scored four goals and four assists. So we'll move on. Uh, Baggy scored twelve goals and got two assists. Uh, Aguero got 11 goals, so he actually beat uh, Aguero, so very well played for them. Then Nani got 9 goals, and our right back, uh, Montoya, got 7, uh, with Chan getting 4. And then Nani getting 4 go or getting four assists with Gaia and Chan as well. And then Leighton Baines getting 3, uh, Aguero getting 2, and Baga getting 2, so it's good that they're uh, both... Uh, sharing in, they're both producing in the goals department as well as the assists. And then uh, the clean, must be, I don't know what CS stands for now, like, but it got 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, and 10. So I thought that was clean sheets for a minute, but we'll go along with that. So they well now, like, and Bag is still top with that. So he is. And that is it. So it is now being. Uh, back of being top scorer against Aguero. So as I didn't see, Cesc Fabregas didn't have that good a season with 14 
uh, 14 appearances and um, only one goal to show for it. So, uh, so he didn't have that good a season. Uh, come back to Spain as he was a Barcelona player as well and playing with Valencia. So unfortunately couldn't <laughs> show his form for that. And with back in the Guerrero scoring the goals as well, putting us in third place in the league is a very good standing for them and fair play to them and the rest of the team for showing just how good they are even though I'm not <laughs> I'm not being their uh, I'm not being their main player in the game now like and they've summed the whole lot. So there we go. Uh, we got through season three fairly quickly so we have and that is it so it is for the end of the FIFA 17 uh, season. So thanks very much for joining joining us for this episode. Thank you very much for joining us for this series if you joined us right through. I think there was 40 odd episodes, or 50, near 50 episodes, so there was during the whole of the campaign of FIFA 17. And we'll see what happens whenever FIFA 18 comes, if we do another career mode or if we do something different. But that is the end of FIFA 17 and the career mode with Valencia. So thanks very much for joining us for this series. Hope you've enjoyed and until the next series, which will come up with in the next couple of weeks, we'll see you again for the next series. Bye!